Okay, now run the command unzip followed by the file name WordPress6.zip and the files are now being extracted. LS and here is the extracted folder WordPress. Now we want to move all the files from the WordPress folder to the parent folder and for that we can use the mv command. LS again and now all the WordPress files are in the root folder of our domain name. And you can see the original WordPress folder is now empty. Let's remove that by using the rm command. Let me remove the zip file as well as we no longer need it. rm wordpress6.zip Okay, since we have the files in place, let me go to the website by entering the domain name in the address bar and the WordPress installation page has loaded. The first step is to enter the database details. Enter the database name, username, password, database host and the table prefix. Click submit followed by run the installation which takes us to the next page where we can enter a site title, username, password, email and so on. Let me name it as Abhinav's photography, username Abhinavar, use the built-in password generator to create a new password. Enter an email address. Then click install WordPress. Now we can log in with the username and password we set during the installation. Okay, now we are successfully logged into the WordPress dashboard. Next, let's go to the permalinks settings. Then let me select post name as the permalink structure and click save. During the installation process, WordPress modifies the wp-config.php file where we can find the database connection details as well as secret keys for WordPress. We can check that either by using the cat command or by opening the file in the nano editor. Let's go with nano nano wp-config.php which opens the file in the nano editor scroll down a bit and there you can see the database connection details go further down and here are the secret keys okay just making sure that everything is set correctly and it looks like there are no issues exit from the nano editor by pressing ctrl x if we open the site once again, you can see that currently the site is working on an unsecure connection, HTTP connection. We want to change that by setting up HTTPS. And for that, let me go back to cPanel. Then locate the SSL section below security. Going to the SSL or TLS status page, you can view or generate SSL certificates for the domain names associated with that account. This is made possible by a cPanel feature called Auto SSL which allows installing free let's encrypt certificates here you can see that the certificates are already generated for the root domain avenar.com and also the www version. that's because i had run auto ssl prior to recording this video once we have the certificates generated we can actually install it on the server open the ssl tls page and on the right side you can see the links to manage your private keys CSR and certificates. On the certificates page, you can find the certificates currently available on the server that we already generate using Auto SSL. Below that, you can also find the options to upload a custom certificate or to generate a new one. However, the option to generate a new certificate you see here is different from the Auto SSL feature. Auto SSL generates a domain validated Let's Encrypt certificate while this one generates a self-signed certificate. It may not be trusted by web browsers. Similarly, on the private keys page, you can view or manage your SSL private keys. Coming to the manage SSL sites page, this is where you install the certificate. Select a domain name, then the available certificate, private key file and the CA bundle will be auto-filled. If I add HTTPS in front of the URL, then you can see that our SSL certificate is already working. 
You can verify that by viewing the certificate on the browser. Click the lock icon and then view certificate. If your name is Let's Encrypt. As a final step, we also want to update the site URLs by going to the settings. Replace HTTP with HTTPS and click save changes. Okay, that prompts us to login again. Click login. That's it, the site is now loading our HTTPS by default. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.